Welcome back everyone to some more Elite Dangerous, today we're looking at in-system trading. In-system trading completely relies on your ability to find a perfect system with the perfect star ports that require each other's services and commodities. It's very simple and of course it works great if you can find the system. Currently I'm in Ashby City, this is in the system of Right near Sol, I think it is uh, Loyton's Star is where I am. If I click exit, you can see how close I am to Sol, wherever it has been gone. We're somewhere close to it. I can't remember where it is now. <laughs> anyway, so we are right in Loyton's Star. 13.1 million population. Um, on the, that's probably middle ground really, it's not in the billions, however, it's not in the hundreds of thousands. So luckily we've got quite a big system here. And so basically around Salt I was looking for a system that required services of each other and strangely enough I just came into the system and it doesn't actually look like each they need each other's services. There's two star spots, we have Ashby City and we have McNair Gateway. As you can see McNair Gateway is a refinery and industrial um, economy and also is um, Ashby City. So you wouldn't think each other requires each other's services. However, this is how in-depth the trading system or strange the trading system is for Elite Dangerous. They actually, there is a lot of money to be earned here, especially from Ashby City to um, McNair Gateway. You can see literally that these two, in reality, on the paper sheet, um, are gonna be producing the same things and exporting the same things. However, they're not and I'm going to show you right now. So, um, generally if you find a system where you've got an agriculture station and and an industrial station, you, they can work in, they can work with each other. As you can see, um, let me just show you. So, if we exit out of that, um, you see Lightning Star. We're just going to go on map and we're going to click for economy. You can see the economy of this place is actually industrial. And a lot of people think that because it's industrial, it only deals with the industry. However, some star systems are going to have an industry star port and an agriculture star port. I think Sol has service and industrial star ports, and other star ports have like or other other systems have like three different types of these of these economies for their star ports. So that's, you could have an agriculture star port, an industrial star port, and a military star port. Even though I haven't come across any of them yet, um, in the in one system. So don't think you can't trade in system, especially when as as you. Can see in this system there is two industrial um, star pots that can you know, that can earn each other money so I'm currently in my pimped out hauler I'm gonna quickly show you my outfitting basically because it's in system trading and I get like one interdiction every like five runs at the moment I've actually pimped out um, the hauler completely with cargo racks as you can see we have eight 16 20 22 cargo holds that's of course 22 tons and for in-system trading it's perfect because i'm not going to be affected at all by the weight because i'm just super cruising so if you would like to remove your shields for that then go ahead but just remember um when you remove your shield you're at risk if you get interdicted of dying and losing all your cargo especially on this specific run right now so ashby city to that other staple which i forgot the name of Go to the commodities market. Now, I just generally marked down on a piece of paper or on a notepad if you can alt tab out um, what this station's demand was and what this, this station's supply was. Um, I'm going to actually do a run of this right now. So basically, I found out that superconductors, as you can see, nine or eight hundred and fifty um, credits less than the galactic average right here. So I, um, after doing my research, found out that these were wanted at the other starport for quite a lot. I'm going to show you over there how much it is wanted, but basically all you want to do with the starport when you come up to it is just kind of mark down what it wants and what it need or what it wants and what it has a surplus of a supply of. So, and then go to the starports in the systems and find out that. Now I'm going to go over to the other starport right now and show you what these are wanted for over there. So I've just landed at McNair Gateway. You may notice that my credits have gone down a considerable amount. That is because I <laughs> exited from the launch pad in um, the other starport, instantly hit a ship and spun around and couldn't control my ship as I hit another launch pad and died. So that was 100,000 credits pretty much wasted, but I'm not too bothered. This method works pretty good and I can get it back in an hour or two. Um, so basically, we just landed at McNair Gateway, the other starport, and if we look into the superconductors, you can see I have a cargo of 20 of these and 7,500 is what these guys are buying for. Looking at the profit for this, 1,220. So I have 10 of them is 12,000, 20 of them is 24,000 profit as you can see. So boom, that is that was about a three, I don't know, a, a, probably a maximum of five minutes from station 
detail from from that star pot to this star pot so that's pretty good on the return journey make sure you that you pick up something as well that is wanted at the other star pot and the supplied here so for instance this one um, for for this specific route this um the route back to the other star pot isn't actually very good compared to the route to here however I can still make around around 4,000 credits on the return journey which isn't too bad either so it's a total of around 26,000 and include if we have the full 22 cargo it's around 30,000 credits of profit for the return journey and of course make sure to check the bulletin board when you get here if there is anything you can pick up at each station to send to the other one it always helps out and it's usually gonna be a lot more um, profit compared to it. So for instance if I had one of these um, that wanted food um, cartridges then I could buy them at this station send them to the other one perfectly fine. So anyway the one that's wanted here is uh, the one that's wanted back at the uh, other station that's supplied here is aluminium so we just oh not sorry not aluminium it's cobalt that are the ones we want but make sure to pick the one that's usually the lowest compared to the galactic average so for instance cobalt is the one here that I can make the most profit on and we're just gonna fill our cargo up with them and I'll meet you back at the other starport. The amount of times that I accidentally click outfitting is just stupid. It's just <laughs> annoying as well because you get sent into like a 20 second cutscene that is really, really unneeded. Anyway, when it finally gets into the commodities market, 20 seconds later, we'll be able to see what we've made. So, actually, we'll just check in the bulletin board. As I said, always make sure you check here just in case anything's there. As you can see though, nothing, we have the unobtainable missions and we have the ones that I know are not the ones we need. Anyway, if you just look on the cargo list, you'll see what you've brought with you. So Cobalt here, um, 784, a bit less than the galactic average, but if you remember we bought a lot less. So we got 228 profit on each one. Looking at the profit for the journey, it's about 5,000 is it? 5,000, bang on, that's not bad. Anyway, 5,000 credit on the way back, so if I ran there with a the full 22 units of um, superconductors I think it was then it's a lot of profit for the for the entire journey and of course if you can pick up any any bulletin board missions along the way then it's going to be really really valuable so make sure you do this method guys because in system trading is really good and I've barely been interdicted at all and just make sure you don't crash into other ships and fly out of space and with your no shield ship <laughs> just crash and lose 100,000 credits anyway guys thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe as I'm going to be uploading some more commodities market tips thank you very much guys and see See you later on.